Hey guys, this is Andrew, and today, you know, I got one of those calls, um, and this time it wasn't from, uh, well, it was from Mastery, I guess it was for Lori. So as you guys know, I'm, by the way, I'm meet uh, Miss Mary, right? So um, the call was from Lori, and Lori of all people, uh, Lori's been working for us um, now, uh, with us for three, four years, and then even before that, um, obviously, she wor used to work at the office uh, I was at. So I've known Lori for a long, long time. And of all people in Mastery, with the amount of people, properties that everybody has, um, Lori does not have a um, rental property. So this is her first property that uh, we're kind of pulling up to. So this should be fun. So we're going to see if she made a great decision or if this is something that is uh, uh, kind of bad. Miss Mary has been telling her that uh, Miss Mary is willing to help her buy her first property, correct? Yep. Or am I putting you on the spot? Put me on the spot. I'm putting her on the spot. No, she's going to uh, help uh, Lori buy the first property, right? So at least from the private funding side. But either way, uh, we're hoping that this turns out to be the right property for Lori. So let's go. We're going to take a look and let's see what happens. So this is kind of the property here. So this is uh, the property that Lori wants to buy. This would be her first investment property. Um, she's not here yet. Um, so let's see. I want to get her reaction when she actually gets here. Um, and uh, then the amount of property she's seen um with us let's see what she does when she gets here what her feeling is before i say anything so we've been officially waiting here now for uh about uh what is it oh three hours 42 minutes, like 42 minutes. <laughs> you know and uh so here she is so we're going to start the interview here have you been right? here before so Lori, this Snow. is your first property, right? Yeah. Your first property. True. So, uh, why this area? Uh, it's a B area. It's a good area for rentals. Okay. This subdivision is pretty well known for rentals as well. Okay. Good rents, about twelve hundred for two bedrooms. Okay. Um, and uh, this happen. We happen to be in Glendale Heights. Yeah. Right. So let's go in and see what we find. Okay. Before you walk upstairs. Right? I'm scared. <laughs> uh, so you've been to a bunch of properties, obviously, with yeah. us. So uh, what do you think the property needs so far downstairs? So this is kind of downstairs, right? Uh, the fo floors are buckling. Um, how about the windows? Windows need to be replaced, for sure. So, so windows are shut. Okay. Um, what else? Kitchen, completely. Okay. So kitchen needs to be completely redone. Yeah. So I'm just gonna shoot it through here. So uh, you don't want to keep the silver foil and that. I think, I think, no, I think that should go. Yeah, you think yeah. so? Okay, so new kitchen. Okay, what do you think about the? I'm not gonna go back there because there's not much light. But uh, you have the hot water heater and. Uh... Water heater looks new. Okay, so the hot water heater looks new, and then. And AC definitely need to be. I don't think it needs to be replaced, but cleaned at least. What kind of furnace is it? I have no Look down, look down, look down. Ream. Ream. Okay, yeah. is Ream a bad furnace or a good furnace? It's not a good one. No, it's a good one. Oh, is it? Ball, I don't know. You know, Ream is very good. Oh, okay, hold okay, on, hold so on. There we go. Look at the, no, no, not, not where you go. The point of video is, yeah. so what do you think about the burners over there? Definitely look worn. There's no, dust. no, no, no. Put your touch, touch it with your finger. It's not gonna burn you, Lori. Touch it properly with your finger. Yeah. No, no. The, oh, the here, goofball. Oh, it's right. Good. Yeah. So is that is that worn or is that dirty? I think it's dirty. Okay. So how about all of this mechanism here? Does that look, it looks dirty or does it look no, worn? No, it looks good, but there's dirty. Dirty, right? Yeah. So when it's dirty, what are you gonna do? Clean it. There we go. So That's what I said. there's no. Did you say you're gonna clean it? Yes. Okay. I all said right. I don't think you need to replace. Okay. Need to replace all right. All right. My bad. My bad. Okay. So um, I didn't see a AC condenser outside. Maybe there is. Uh, what do you think about this? Definitely needs to be looked at. 
Um, another inspection report showed that they want to make sure there's no water in the crawl space. Okay. I don't think with it buckling this much, do you think there's moisture? I think there's foundation problem. Yeah. I don't think it's moisture. I think there's something else. Right? The foundation is going through the house. You think it's that bad? Yeah, I think it's just going to rise right up. Oh, uh, you're just a liar. It's not. No, this is Goofball. Think about it. I know. Walk over here. Jump over there. Jump up and down over there. Right. No, no, go to the corner, 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 go to the corner. Go to the corner. Yeah. Now, if you really like jump or like stamp over there, yeah. right, what happens? Is it solid or no? Yeah. Is that concrete or is that wood? It's concrete. No. no it's wood? Will concrete vibrate? Just okay. feel it, just stamp on it. Yeah, no, that's wood. Okay. Yeah. That's wood, right? Is there buckling or anything anywhere else? No. No. So why do you think this happened here? I don't know. I know you should have an answer for this, right? I should have an answer for that. So typically, prob there might have been some moisture, mm -hmm. some, but there's not a lot of sign of it. If you look over there, what it is is at some point, this has been, when it was installed, mm -hmm. it was not properly installed. So it's just buckling. It's just you take out this floor, lay or you just basically fix it and just lay vinyl right on top of it okay. right or you just take this out completely 99.9 .9%, this is okay there might be a little bit of water but there's no moisture smell yeah. in the house Great. so this should be totally totally fine so let's go upstairs okay. and figure out and then by the time you get down i need a number as far as how much it's going to cost okay. and what is your cash flow going to be okay. mm -hmm. upstairs um what do you think two bedrooms two bedrooms right bath upstairs so windows here windows for sure both rooms bathroom needs to be updated okay paint needs right carpeting okay or flooring whatever decides in the bathroom what would you do vanity could probably stay okay tub you could probably just clean it and uh what is it Gloss it over? What's that called? Yeah. So basically, what about the surround? Surrounding, it's in good condition, it's just outdated. How about if you just take the that metal thing out because it yeah, looks dated? That's dated, yeah. And maybe have the whole thing sprayed completely? That's, cover I, all the it's holes? A good, it's in good condition. Just clean it, it, make it brand spanking new, and yeah. that's it. It's a good condition. Right? Make sure plumbing is working, everything is working, spick and span. Yeah. Right? Uh, and then what about the floors? Floor should be. Hmm. You could probably put in just the same floor downstairs up here. Yeah, it's small enough where it's. And then maybe difference. put a new toilet just to make it nice and clean. Yeah. This is it's already the, like that. Yeah. This can be cleaned up, new f faucet. Yeah. You know, change the hang a new mirror, right? So based on your opinion, right? And I know mm -hmm. I'm putting you on the spot. Yeah. Let's actually go downstairs talk about the cost. Okay. So you looked at the property now, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So what is the purchase price? Uh, 70,000. 70,000. What is it listed for? 70,000. So it's MLS listing. MLS listing, yeah. Okay. Um, and then uh, what is the rehab cost? So originally when I was doing the numbers, without just sight unseen, I was thinking 20. Okay. Now walking through it, probably about 15. About 15,000. Yeah. Okay. Got it. So and 15,000, you better call whatever favors you have to call in. Work in those Chicago Rio favors that right. I've been over the years. Right, exactly. Right, because here, every penny for you counts. Because yeah. right? I can't afford my money stuck in the deal. So right. I, I need to be able to do what I can. Okay, so 70,000 purchase, 15,000 rehab, 5,000 other costs. So about all in for about 90. About 90, yeah. Right, so you're gonna buy it with the, uh, I put Miss Mary on the spot, mm -hmm. right? So Miss Mary said she's committing to uh, doing a private funding, okay. right? Or somebody will fund mm -hmm. somebody, yeah. but I think Miss Mary will do it. I think she does uh, enough. Right. I've so stuck, I've stuck up over the years. Right. So um, as far as uh, your numbers, mm -hmm. uh, what do they look like? So ninety thousand, if you refinance that, and uh, what is the property worth at that point, realistically? Realistically, when I pulled the comps, um, about one fifteen. One fifteen. Yeah. Okay. Is that a conservative comp? Is that a... That's conservative. There that's was, conservative. There were, there were sales that were about 118, 119. Okay. Um, but the majority within the last six months, they were about 115. 115. And yeah. this is the time of the year when you can get a yeah. great comp, 
right? Mm -hmm. And a lot of the major things you're gonna save because yeah. they're in good condition, yeah. right? So if in case this doesn't work for you, mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of backup plans here, no, right? So it's a very safe investment. Yeah, exactly. Very safe, okay. Uh, and what do the numbers look like, including taxes, insurance, association fees, uh, mortgage plus insurance? What does that all of it put together come with zero money invested in so the deal? So I'll probably end up net cash flowing about 380 or so. 380 or so, yeah. with nothing in the with transaction. nothing in the transaction. Zero in the deal, mm -hmm. right? So. If you keep the numbers, right, the way they are, this ends up being a first home run deal. Definitely. I mean, like no tomorrow, Definitely. right? It's better to be late than never, never right? Again. Okay, good, congratulations. Thank you.